Good morning and welcome back to another video. Today I'm starting out in wonderful Naha, the capital of Okinawa, and today we're going to be flying on Japan Airlines A350 Economy Class on what is their longest flight with this, air, with this aircraft currently. Right now it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, my flight's at 11.20, so I'm just going to make my way to the airport. So yeah, come along, let's check out the airport as we make our way from A to B. How could I not start this day on Kokusai Dori, the main shopping street in the city, guarded with the two shisha on either side of the street? And hey, on my way to the airport, I ran into a copy vending machine where I helped myself. Needless to say, today's off to a great start. The best way to get around the city is to use the monorail, which weaves its way for 17 kilometers throughout the city and terminates at the airport. It's the only rail transportation in Okinawa Prefecture. And once again, I welcome you back to a new video on a lovely May morning. This was my first time in Okinawa, and I arrived the night before on an evening flight. It's always enjoyable to visit another corner of Japan. But as this was a weekend, it was a quick one night trip. Anyway, with the monorail, it's not too long before we arrive at the airport, which is located on the south end of the city. On the east side of the third floor lies the domestic check-in with a Nei and Zhao commanding the majority of the area. There's a Tully shop located on the far end. The west side of the airport, down a fairly lengthy walk, is for international travel. In May 2022, international flights were still only allowed through only four airports throughout Japan and Naha wasn't one of them. Back on the domestic side, the three floors offer a nice selection of shops, restaurants and convenience stores. What separates this airport from others in the country is that it has an a and Yum! The gift shops are worth browsing as well. They sell many Okinawa products which are more difficult or impossible to find on the mainland. And like many airports in Japan, I suggest hanging out on this side for the majority of your time. Naha Airport reminds me of a tropical vacation type airport. The humid tropical air, circulated air conditioning, and that faint smell of perfume from the duty-free shop brought back memories of other sun destinations such as Honolulu or Puerto Vallarta. Speaking of the tropics, I thought it was funny seeing curling on TV here, which I didn't mind one bit. Today we're departing from gate 22. Our aircraft is Japan Airlines' third A350, also known as the green one. There is one last thing to do before boarding our flight, and that is to get some Okinawa Blue Seal ice cream, which was melting rather fast and I had to take care of it appropriately, but nonetheless, very delicious. Today we're in 22K in the front of the economy cabin. And parked beside us is Japan Trans Ocean Air, a subsidiary of Japan Airlines based in Naha. JTA's previous name? Southwest. Huh, the more you know. There are two layouts for the A350. This particular aircraft is set up with the X-12 layout with the larger economy cabin. Economy class yields a 31 inch seat pitch and there's six lavatories on board. We're on the third A350, which was delivered to Japan Airlines in September 
Japan Airlines A350 economy class is comprised of 323 seats in a 333 layout. The cabin is wide with dark gray seats and off-white seat backs. They appear to keep the lighting in line with the company's color scheme for the duration of the flight. Perhaps because Okinawa is realistically only accessible by air, I found that the flights on this route are operated at a higher occupancy rate than perhaps other destinations in Japan. The seats are dark gray and provide an adjustable headrest. Seatback contains a 10 inch monitor, which can be adjusted should the person in front of you recline their seat, a pocket for your fine reading material, a well positioned power outlet, which I think is better suited higher up than down below. The tray table, which also has a cup holder, and below is a trio of pockets and plenty of space with that 31 inch seat pitch. The tray table folds out, providing increased space and is adjustable, clicking into place. And above is the reading light. This economy seat must be one of my favorites. All aspects have been well thought out from the guest standpoint and provide all the essential components in a thoughtful manner. The seat pocket contains the safety card, Wi-Fi connection guide, and Japan Airlines Skyward magazine. This month's focus is Okinawa. Using the guide, it's easy to connect to the Japan Airlines complimentary Wi-Fi. And since you're very likely watching this over Wi-Fi, why not subscribe if you haven't already? for more aviation and travel related content. Speaking of which, this will be my last review of a Japanese carrier for some time, as I'll be flying back to Canada for a few weeks, so I'll be bringing you some content from that part of the world very shortly. For the drink service, I changed it up a little bit, and I went with a beef consomme soup instead of a coffee, and I picked up a can of chips at the airport. The in-flight entertainment system is very quick on these A350s. There's a reasonable amount of media to get you through the flight. As I fly Japan Airlines about once every month or two, I know that they do a great job of cycling through the episodes of different series, so there's always something new to watch. These longer flights also allow you to both watch something on the IFV and to enjoy the views of the passing planet below. The lavatories on board were nice and clean. Japan Airlines went with a darker wood theme design for the lavatories, and I think it was a good choice. Back in my seat and towards the end of the flight, there was another quick light drink service. They simply offered water or this Okinawa fruit juice. The cost of this flight came to 10,700 yen, a remarkable price for this flight. Alright, so let's look at Japan Airlines mid-range product, product, one of the longer domestic flights in the country, and overall, it was not a problem, nice and smooth flight. Uh, they said there might be turbulence at the start, but there was really nothing to speak of. Uh, the only thing I would say is, on a full flight like that, I, th I thought it got uh, a little warm, not uncomfortable, but that scenario where that uh, personal air vent would come in handy. Other than that, no problem. Um, let me know what you thought about the Japan Airlines flight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around next time.